based on the record, the court finds by clear and convincing evidence there are no less restrictive non-monetary conditions or combinations thereof that would suffice to protect the public safety and ensure the defendant's appearance at a future court date. Therefore, bail is set at $30,000. If the defendant does make bail, he is to stay 100 yards away from and have no contact with Mr. Chappelle. He is to stay 100 yards away from any venue that Mr. Chappelle is uh, performing at, and he is to stay 100 yards away from any local residence of Mr. Chappelle as well. Additionally, do not own, use, or possess any dangerous or deadly weapons, including any firearms, knives, or other concealable weapons. Do not use or threaten to use force or violence against any person. All right, guys, so we have some updates on Dave Chappelle's attacker, Mr. Isaiah Lee, who has come out and told us exactly why he attacked Dave Chappelle, and nobody should be surprised by this, okay? So I want to talk about that. But first, I give you guys some updates on the situation because this um, case has taken a very, very, very disturbing turn that, quite honestly, we see way too much in these liberal cities and these states ran by these woke DAs and prosecutors who are soft on crime, right? They're soft on criminals. They're soft on the menaces to society which is putting people in danger right and it really blows my mind in a place like los angeles uh california where you have a whole lot of rich famous people who seem to be in danger as well too right Be beverly hills ain't necessarily safe right or hollywood um <laughs> it's crazy to me how they don't stand up to this stuff and use their money to basically demand that these uh criminals uh be locked up right so that the streets are safer uh, who knows? Maybe they don't want to be accused of, of, of racism, right? Maybe Hollywood is too far going with uh, the wokeness, right? That they'll put their own lives in danger. Because this guy right here, uh, Mr. Isaiah Lee, he is a menace to society. And it looked like at first that this guy may get off easy after he attacked Dave Chappelle. Because at first, he was charged with a felony assault charge. But <laughs> unfortunately, the woke DA of Los Angeles decided to uh drop the charges okay and instead give him four misdemeanors okay and uh, i want you guys to take a listen at his reasoning uh for giving mr isaiah lee uh four misdemeanors instead of a felony charges take a look what should have been an evening of laughter at the hollywood bowl this past tuesday night was suddenly interrupted when suspect isaiah lee allegedly charged onto the stage and tackled comedian dave chappelle the suspect allegedly was carrying a weapon. This alleged attack has got to have consequences, and this afternoon, my office has filed charges alleging battery, possession of a weapon with the intent to assault, and charges relating to interfering with a performance. My office takes protecting public safety extremely seriously and we are going to vigorously prosecute this case yeah guys so what you just saw there from that city attorney uh is what they call pissing on your leg and then telling you that it's raining right that's exactly what that is right because this guy is talking about how he's trying to protect the city and keep everybody safe and it's like no 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 if you were actually trying to protect the city and keep everybody safe you would not have charged this man with four misdemeanors. Instead, you would have slapped him with some felony charges, right? You would have actually tried to lock him up, but he's not really trying to lock him up. Instead, the guy got a $30,000 bond, okay? We hear this story way too often, right? Especially when it comes to these people of having violent criminal histories, right? Just because they ain't killed nobody yet, even though they've attempted to do so, just because they haven't killed anybody yet, um, hey, you know, let's go easy on him, right? He won't kill anybody eventually, right? That, that That's how these people think. That's how they think. Almost as if, you know, patterns of behavior aren't indicative of a much deeper issue that a person might be having, right? But anyways, uh, fortunately, or probably unfortunately, this is more unfortunate than it is fortunate, but it's fortunate because it appears that he might get locked up, not because of what he did to Dave Chappelle, but because of what he did to his own roommate, right? Uh, as this guy... Is being charged with attempted murder for allegedly stabbing a roommate last year. Okay, so finally, it took a stabbing for this guy uh, to actually get charged with attempted murder. So with that being said, let, let's read about this. And then we're going to get into this guy's reasoning uh, for attacking Dave Chappelle. 
The crazed man accused of attacking comedian Dave Chappelle on stage during a Los Angeles show earlier this month has been charged with attempted murder for allegedly stabbing his roommate in December. Isaiah Lee, 23, was busted Thursday in connection to the fight with his roommate at a transitional housing facility on December 2nd, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office announced. Lee pleaded not guilty to one count of attempted murder over the violent quarrel, a prosecutor said. The DA's office said the victim identified Lee as his attacker after the suspect gained significant media attention following the on-stage confrontation with Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl earlier this month. Well, that's a little weird. You would think that his roommate would know who attacked him, right? I don't understand how that works. Quote, the publicity generated by the attack on Mr. Chappelle helped police solve this crime, District Attorney uh, George Gaston uh, said in a statement. The incident that occurred at the Hollywood Bowl was misdemeanor conduct and rightfully referred to the uh, city attorney's office uh, based on the nature and severity of the December attack. Mr. Lee is now facing felony charges, which my office will prosecute. On May 3rd, Lee allegedly charged and tackled Chappelle on stage of the iconic amphitheater as the 48-year-old comic performed a set at the Netflix is a joke festival. Lee was allegedly armed with a fake gun that had a real knife inside at the time. Well, I don't know if this is alleged anymore, right? I mean, we saw it happen. I mean, we know the dude did it. I don't think this is alleged. Shocking video footage of the incident shows uh, Lee allegedly slammed Chappelle to the floor. Uh, seconds later, the attacker was tackled by security in the scuffle. Security broke Lee's arm, which put him in a hospital following the incident. Chappelle appeared to carry on with the show. The next day, Lee, who lives in Los Angeles, was initially charged with felony assault with a deadly weapon. But his charges were downgraded to four misdemeanors, including battery, possessing a deadly weapon with intent to assault unauthorized access to the stage area during a performance and commission of an act that delays the event or interferes with the performer. He pleaded guilty to those charges. Lee appeared in a Los Angeles courtroom last week where a judge rejected his public defender's bid for him to be released on his own reckonance and left his bail unchanged at $30,000. L.A. City uh, Deputy Attorney Giselle Fernandez said during the hearing that Lee had prior run-ins with the law, including battery charge that was reduced to disturbing the peace charge in San Bernardino. Again, history of being violent, okay? Um, <laughs> why are they let this guy out after this man just attempted to murder Dave Chappelle? I really don't get it, okay? Uh, so that being said, uh, this guy actually did an interview with the New York Post. Uh, letting the world know exactly why he attacked Dave Chappelle, and nobody should be surprised by this. I'll tell you straight up, uh, it is not because <laughs> he is a Trump supporter, right? It ain't because of Trump, right? It's not what uh, Joy Behar in The View tried to allege was the reason, okay? Uh, some people have tried to connect this guy to Trump and try to say he was a Trump supporter because he made a song about Trump. Just because you make a song about Trump doesn't make you a Trump supporter. I am sure this guy is not a Trump supporter, and even if he was... Trump did not make him commit this attack, right? I think what made him commit this attack is the radicalization that we're seeing on the left uh, that has got to the point where uh, they can't even take a joke, right? So let's read here. The Los Angeles man accused of attacking Dave Chappelle said he was, quote, triggered by the comedian's jokes about the LGBTQ community and homelessness as he insisted he never wanted to harm the funny man. In an exclusive jailhouse interview, Isaiah Lee told the Post that Chappelle should be more sensitive when it comes to the jokes he cracks. Quote, I identify as bisexual and I wanted him to know what he said was triggering. Lee said Saturday at the Twins Towers Correctional Facility in Los Angeles, dressed in brown jail garb and sporting a sling on his broken right arm. I wanted him to know that next time he should consider running his material by people it could affect. Wow, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Lee said he expected to have a good time at the May 3rd Netflix as a joke show, but he grew angry and frustrated as Chappelle joked about his prior controversies with the LGBTQ community as well as homelessness. Okay, this is a lie, right? Uh, this was premeditated, okay? Because if you're going to this Dave Chappelle show, which I don't know how this man affords tickets. I mean, he's homeless, okay? I don't think he got a job, right? But anyways, he's there. Um, you knew that this man was not going to stop making jokes about the LGBTQ community, particularly the, the T, right? He ain't going to stop making jokes about the T's. So you knew what you was going to get. You went there because you had this premeditated that you was going to attack this man if he started making jokes 
about your community, right? You knew what you was going to do. Quote, I'm also a single dad and my son is five, sadly, 23, who at one point was homeless himself. It's a struggle and I wanted Dave Chappelle to know it's not a joke. He said his breaking point came when another comedian in the show's lineup made a crude joke about pedophilia, which Lee said drugged up memories of his own molestation as a teen. Come on, bro. You can't be this soft. You can't be this soft, dog. The stunning takedown at the Hollywood Bowl was caught on camera, showing Lee charging at Chappelle on stage, knocking him over and fleeing before security grabs him. Quote, that's a trans man, Chappelle, who is not injured, joked to the crowd right after the attack. Lee admitted that he was carrying a replica handgun uh, with a retractable knife inside on the night of the alleged attack, but he claimed he didn't have the weapon out when he charged the stage. The wannabe rapper who goes by, quote, no name underscore trapper <laughs> and once put out a song about the Emmy winning comment said he always carries the weapon for protection because he is also a minor celebrity. <laughs> this guy's delusional. He's absolutely delusional. That's just like saying I'm a minor celebrity. I would never claim to be a minor <laughs> celebrity. Okay. Uh, the young dad who was roughed up in the incident is claiming four misdemeanor accounts, including battery and possessing a deadly weapon with intent to assault. Quote, they spat on me and twisted me as if on purpose, he said to security guards who left him with a broken arm and two black eyes. Yeah, they beat your ass, right? Like they should. There's security, okay? There's security. So yeah, with that being said, uh, we know the motivations behind this guy's attack, right? He clearly came out and said, I did this because I don't like the fact that uh, Dave Chappelle makes jokes I don't like, particularly jokes about uh, the LGBTQ community, right? And I wonder, uh, with this attack, for as high profile as it is, now that we know the actual motive, are they going to come out here and talk about the radicalization that is occurring on the left when it comes to people getting upset about jokes, okay? Uh, because to me, um, jokes are not an excuse to attack people, right? Jokes are not an excuse to attempt to murder people, right? But see, they're not going to talk about that. They're going to sweep it under the rug. However, if this was a white guy, Right? You got to bring this up. You got to say it because it's so true. If he attacked Dave Chappelle over jokes about white people, I guarantee you uh, there'd be conversations in the media about this. About, wow, why are people so radicalized over jokes? They'd be talking about the radicalization of white folks. Right? White people being so radicalized that they can't even take a joke. Right? He attacked Dave Chappelle because he was a black man making jokes about white folks. Okay? That's what they'd be saying. But when it comes to this guy, you're not going to hear about that. Even though... This is something that now, again, we see is causing people to get very, very upset and it is leading to violence, right? It's leading to violence. And in a sane society, we will try to nip this in the bud and call it out for what it is before it gets worse, right? Before somebody gets killed behind this stuff, okay? Because it's a shame that we're at the point in our society where we have to now uh, have extra protection for comedians because people are so soft, right? They can't even take a joke, Right? Again, this is the Will Smith effect, and it is trickled down to people like this guy thinking that it is okay to attack people and assault people on stage uh, over their jokes, okay? Um, but like I said, you know, hey, it is what it is. Los Angeles is an asshole, to be quite honest with you, because this guy was about to get off if it wasn't for the fact <laughs> that he also tried to murder his roommate, right? If he didn't try to murder his roommate, this guy would have got off clean despite the fact that he has a criminal history of being violent being a menace to society disturbing the peace all types of crazy stuff going on but they continue to let guys like this walk free on the streets until they actually kill somebody and again it's a damn shame what if you live in one of these liberal cities these liberal states that are soft on crime like this i don't know what you're doing right i don't know what you're doing but i get it you know it's not easy for some people just to get up and move but if i was you guys i would definitely be trying to do so Okay, I will go to some place in this country that actually has law and order. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.